kind with 64 colors. I appreciate the structure and the outline, but the freedom to choose how to fill them in. I'm drawn by the possibilities and the promise of what I can create. I love to watch the picture take form and turn from something simple into something beautifully complex. For me, graduate school has been like a great big coloring book with lots of pages to choose from. I came to North Park's MBA program with just a basic outline that had been developing over the course of my lifetime. My undergraduate studies, work and life experience, friends, family, kids, all of these contributed to the pages of my coloring book. We all started with these kinds of outlines, but each of our coloring books were different. Some of the pages I knew I had to color in, there were required courses I needed to take. But in the end, I got to choose what colors to use, and I decided where to fill them in. I had the opportunity to create my own masterpiece. I approached my classes in much the same way I do coloring books. I don't start choosing crayons until I can see the final picture in my mind. Sometimes I would choose subdued colors, sometimes vibrant ones. Sometimes I felt like I wanted to take a black crayon and color the whole picture black. I, ne I never did that, but sometimes I wanted to. Like when I couldn't get a problem to balance, or when it was after midnight and I still had a paper to finish. Still, each page called out to me to pick the best colors, the ones that fit best and to fill in as many of the empty spaces as I could. So I tried to do that every time. When I was done, I took a look back and was pleased to see that each picture looked like I had imagined it would. You get out of your education exactly what you put into it. It's entirely up to you how the pictures turn out. Many, if not all of you, have owned a box of 64 crayons. You probably don't remember all of the specific names, but you remember that all the colors are represented. This is what we have to choose from when we are drawing a picture. We can mix them together to create different colors, or put them next to each other to create contrast or texture. Before today, how many of you had ever heard of color drab? Or that the official color of the MBA hood is drab? Well, I am a lifelong artist with an intimate knowledge of the box of 64 crayons, and I can tell you that drab is not a color in the crayon box. It isn't even a color, really. Webster's Dictionary defines drab as yellowish gray or cheerless. <laughs> Those of us receiving an MBA today are not drab, and we are definitely not cheerless. We didn't choose drab to color the pages in our books. Here's why our pictures are not drab. We know what supply and demand do to each other. We understand net present value. We know about ethical leadership and how organizations behave.